You know, it's interesting that the main causes of chronic disease, whether it's heart disease or diabetes, are things that really doctors don't even give to patients. Patients give it to themselves. Diet, exercise, stress management, mental attitude. The research is loaded with showing us that chronic disease is more lifestyle driven than anything else. And what's extraordinary is the medical system doesn't really train doctors to function as educators and health coaches like they need to because if chronic disease is first and foremost diet and lifestyle mediated, then the role of, the, of a doctor really has to change dramatically and become more of an educator, the role of a health coach, as well as the role of a diagnostician. Naturopathic medicine is stellar in their training of us in that regard. So whether you have heart disease or diabetes, most patients are overweight. Most patients need to make significant changes in diet and exercise. If you were to ask a large number of people with diabetes and heart disease if they're under a lot of chronic stress and do they manage their stress well, they would probably say, I need help in that regard. Mental attitude's been studied for the last 30 years related to the evolution of heart disease and it's a very big component as well. The conventional medical model for treating heart disease and diabetes is drugs first. The naturopathic model is health education, disease prevention, and optimizing health as much as possible. It's kind of interesting, uh, one of the things I've learned over the years as a naturopathic doctor is if you take people with chronic disease and you encourage them to build health and wellness, it treats their disease at the same time. So not only can you improve people's diet, exercise, stress management, and mental, mental attitude, but in the doing of it, you're helping to reverse and unravel some of their chronic disease. We as naturopathic doctors support our patients in optimizing their diet, and we also help them sort out whether any of the drugs they're taking are contributing to nutrient depletion. In, in this way, we collaborate with medical doctors. We may have a patient on a statin drug or a diuretic to help lower blood pressure. The statin drug in some cases can deplete coenzyme Q10. The diuretics can deplete minerals. So we'll look carefully at all of their drugs that they're taking to make sure there are, aren't any drug-induced nutrient deficiencies. What's very fascinating is all of the building blocks and cofactors in the chemistry of the human body are vitamins, minerals, amino acids, essential fatty acids. They're not drugs. There are hormones and enzymes, but the bottom line is the chemical soup that our body uses to fix itself is diet and nutrition, not prescription drugs. So ideally, if we start with optimizing diet and nutrition and using the building blocks from our food chain, to restore our biochemistry to optimal, we'll avoid prescription drugs. And if we can avoid prescription drugs, especially the more risky synthetic ones, and recover our health with diet and nutrition, we're balancing our biochemistry. <laughs>